In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own multi-boot USB drive with all your own utilities and tools on there that you like to use when you're fixing computers. So what you're going to need to do is download all your ISO images that you want to use as in Ultimate Boot CD for Win and, and uh, Heron's Boot CD or whatever you like to use in your USB drive when you're out and about. Maybe Norton Ghost or something like that you can use okay so let's get started the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got a pen drive say about four gigabytes or more if you can get one um, and use something like that okay so I've got a four gig one here and what I'm going to do first is right click on here and actually format this okay now I'm going to format this as FAT32 and a quick format and just click start okay click OK and this is actually going to format my pen drive ready for use okay that's done pretty painless okay so now we're ready we've got an empty uh, thumb drive there ready to go so the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure you've got a couple of programs okay to use we're going to need to make sure you've got uh, grub for DOS 0.4.4 okay that's the one you need to download I will put this link in my description and on the forums so you can actually with a tutorial so you can actually follow it you need to download that and also uh, grub installer um, you're going to need to get that as well okay this one here so they're very small download those two and put them on your desktop okay now I've got mine on my desktop already I will put a link up for uh, this file as well uh, memdisk you will need that if you're using Heron's Boot CD or something like that you will need that but I will I'll explain all that in the actual tutorial on my forum so let's get started so go into grub installer and then right click on this uh, grub installer underscore GUI dot exe and basically right click and run as administrator click yes here this will open up this box here now what you need to do here is be very careful when you click on here disk now you may have a load of USB hard drives plugged in or something like that do not guess which one this is otherwise you're going to end up losing um, all your data and it's dodgy so what you need to do first is right click on computer there go manage and this is how you can find out what uh, hard drive yours is click on disk manager or disk management and there you can see there D it's the D drive 4 gigabytes and it's disk 1 so that's the hard drive 1 we need to use that one okay if you put it on there it could muck it, muck it all up for yourself okay so just make sure and check okay if you've especially you've got a lot of USB drives there so we know it's disk 1 okay so back to this now so what we need to do here is click on hard drive 1 and then click install this will open up a little problem box so just push enter there and that's it done so what we need to do here is close that one off and now we need to go to grub for DOS folder which you'll have on your desktop there's a couple of files that you're going to need here you're going to need the GRLDR you're going to need that one and also the menu list okay uh, the menu list uh, file there so if you want that or you can actually download mine which will be on the forums and you can download and use that and edit it to, to your own liking okay so let me just uh, copy these across I'm going to go to my pen drive and just paste them in there okay now once they're in there as you can see we can now look at this menu and this is the default menu that you'll get with the actual grub for DOS okay you just look at that and it's a bit of a bloated one but you can edit this if you wanted to as you can see here it's got loads of stuff on there that you could edit to the way you want to do it okay so it's already there for your party magic ISO ultimate boot CD for ISO and so on and so on okay so let's uh, go to the next stage what we need to do here is I'm just going to get that mem uh, mem disk there so let's just grab hold of that file also I'll do the menu I'm going to use my own menu because I've already set it up and I'm going to paste this in here okay so that's what you should have there so far right now remember inside your menu once you've got it all worked out you'll have loads of things that you want to set up in there now yours might not look like mine 
you might have slightly different tools that you want to use that's okay you can use whatever you like but um, if I booted this up now it will boot and it will give you give you a menu but because you have got no ISO images in there it won't work so you need to put the ISO images in there okay so what I'm going to do now is I've got a load of ISO images here as you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these straight across to my hard drive or my little pen drive I should say and uh, if you wanted a back uh, background image let me just show you that quickly um, if you look at background Im image you'll see at the top here this is what the code you're going to need now that's the file that's the directory where it's the file is in and you can download these off the internet or you can create your own whatever you want give it your own little feel and you can actually password them as well so no one can actually use them okay so let me just uh, copy these files across just uh, copy these ones okay copy now obviously you won't have these you'll have to do these yourself I'm not going to be putting links up for all these files because they're too big you can download them yourself and I'll just copy these across to my pen drive like so I shall pull us a video here and let one to that goes across okay that's the files nearly copied across now Obviously it takes a bit of time because it's going to a USB drive and some of these files are quite big. Now you may notice that some of these ISO some of them are ISO files and some of them are folders. That's because some of them you can actually undo the ISO images and take out the certain files and put them in as a folder. So uh now that's done, I'm gonna give that a try. Right, so let's uh test this. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using uh VM player to test the actual USB drive so here we have our VM player I'm going to click on this here it's just to test the actual USB so you can see the actual USB drive working it's found the actual Kingston USB master storage, uh, master storage drive so I'm going to click OK there and as you can see it's uh, just going to click on USB let this load up and there we have our our actual uh, multi-boot CD or I should say multi-boot USB drive so you can see now we have uh, here is boot CD, Ulmer boot CD for Windows uh, that's what may you reset Windows password and puppy Linux and so on and so on okay so if we click on one of these we would now load up here is boot CD straight from the USB drive so uh, it's quite useful um, as I said if you're into fixing computers uh, this is going to be really useful for you. You can actually customize it to suit your own needs. Put whatever you like in here, antivirus programs, whatever you like. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, uh, please remember, show your support and hit the subscribe button. Also, head over to the forum there and uh, you will actually see the tutorial there all written out and also all the links on there as well. Okay, so keep uh, watching my videos, guys. Thanks again for your support. Bye for now.